Okay, next question. Who's Emma? This is Emma. She's Emma. Emma is my my <laughs> my dress form. Emma's amazing. Emma has been with me. Emma, let me tell you about the secrets of this woman. Emma can go from a size two to a 14 in seconds. She is absolutely amazing. So this is Emma. We're always talking about Emma, and Emma wears the hottest pieces <laughs> to date. Okay, she's always fashionable, and she's always looking great. So that's an important thing. This is Emma. Uh, a couple questions I have. We've had a mixed bag winter here on the East Coast. It hasn't really been winter like here, and we're not complaining. Okay, Lord, we're not complaining. Uh, we've had a great kind of winter uh, season, but people are like, I can't wear my, my thick coat. I understand. I totally get it. I understand. But that's why we have capes, we have ponchos, and we have shawls. Ladies, it's time to throw them on, whether it's hooded. I made this one for Emma. Yes, I do make my own stuff. It's PW Pieces. Check me out. Just email me at sprincesswarren at gmail.com and we'll hook you up. Uh, but this is Emma. Emma has on a great hooded little cape. She's good to go. She can throw it this way and you can still be warm. A lot of people say, oh, princess, I'm kind of big. Uh, I have, you know, I'm, I'm heavy in the chest or maybe I'm big and my shawl doesn't stay the way little people's shawl stays. Let me show you an awesome, awesome trick for that. How much was this brooch? Five dollars at the thrift store. You just want to get your nice little brooch and you want to throw it. And um, when you, even when it's here, look how great it looks here. But nobody has to know that's how you're keeping your shawl up. So what, you were that big. Who cares, I don't care what size you are. You can still be fabulous and you can still be fly. You just want to throw it across your shoulder and it'll stay. You don't have to worry about it. it, it will stay. And nobody's gonna know that that's the reason why you have a brooch on because you're a little too big for your shawl. Shawls kind of come in standard sizes and so do capes. So unless you're probably ordering it, you know, from someone like me, or you're getting a plus size, it may be a little small, but don't feel like, oh, I'm too big to wear a shawl. No, you're not. Get a brooch, hook yourself up and make sure you're wearing hot neck pieces. It's really important. Um, when you have an outfit, it's really important to kind of up the ante. Accessories, ladies, ups the ante on anything. So don't be scared. You could pull out something really old. You can pull out something new. Just make it work. You can go wrong when it comes to accessories and fashion. Yes, you can be a fashion no-no. Let me show you some things that don't work. Everybody's like, oh, P, that looks cute. You have turquoise on your neck, turquoise on your arm. But guess what? Look how long my earrings are. Do you guys see that? See how long these earrings are? You can't do that with this. I feel if your earrings are touching your necklace, you can't, you can't rock that. That's not okay with me and I really wanna give out some pointers and some tidbits about the type of accessories, what is, um, what's kind of proportionate with your frame, your body, what you're wearing, okay? So let me take this off and stop playing myself. I just wanted to show you guys that, okay? I wouldn't do it. I would wear this necklace with a pair of short earrings like this. It would be so cute together. You see that? It's not too much. You just don't want to overdo it. You cannot mix gold and silver. You can't mix gold and silver unless it's like your wedding ring and then you accessorize. If your wedding ring is like platinum or something like that and you wear it every day, that's not an accessory piece. That's a lifestyle commitment. You know what I mean? When you have on your wedding ring, that's not like something you take off and put on. This necklace, it is amazing. Yes, we all agree this is an amazing necklace, okay? So let's put it on real quick. I'm gonna put it on me. And when I say it goes with this outfit, I didn't say that, I'm just showing you some things. Okay, this necklace, yeah, it's great. You see how my earrings are touching that necklace? That's not cool. Let me show you what I've been seeing. I'm gonna put it on so that you can see it so that we are both on the same page. This is what I'm seeing. You look crazy. You see that? Now you can see how you look. I've done it for you. This looks crazy with this. You understand what I'm, it's just too much. Your necklace is touching your earring and it's giving you no neck. Now look how long, I'm giving you the illusion. That's good clavicle right there, right? Okay. <laughs> so you just wanna, look how long my neck looks. And you don't want anything on your neck unless it's like a really thin little necklace. Like you just you just don't want to overkill it. You don't want to overdo it. These earrings, they say enough by themselves. And if you wear more, you're speaking too loud. You know, so you want to really, really be careful. I'm really, I'm just not big on mixing silver and gold unless it came together. Some necklaces are silver and gold together and that's fine. And you can kind of do your thing or do what you want. 
but on a regular, you can't have on a, a silver bracelet. Look, I, I wanna show you how crazy it looks. This is what I've, I wanted just to share with you guys. Here's a bangle, right? And then I would put on, okay. This is gonna be the rage too. White jewelry and links is gonna be so much fun for the spring, but we'll get to that next week. You're bugging. Look at this, you're bugging. And I know you probably thought, oh my God, I'm doing it, but you're not, you're not doing it. This bracelet is a statement by itself. This necklace is a statement by itself. So you wanna just kinda stay true to what you're doing. If you have on this necklace, let me show you how you can wear a long necklace with a small earring. Me, I would just wear a stud because this earring kinda, it does a lot. But if you wear, look how thin these earrings are. They're not focal points, they're just in. You see that? You put them in and they blend with your hair. When I put my hair over it, you can't even tell those earrings are on. But ladies, don't leave the house without earrings. So you see how that works? That's the only way that you could wear a little bit of dangle with a long necklace. I personally, you won't see me doing it, but it's okay if you want to do it. So that's the only way you can wear like a little, it's, it's a baby earring. Look how thin the gold wiring is. And then you wear it with something because something has to not be noticed. Something has to not be the focal point. You can't have focus on your ears and your neck at the same exact time, okay? So be careful with that. What would you wear with this? Would you wear a pair of gold earrings or a pair of pearls? I'll give you the answer. It's only more. It's, it's whatever is more. It, if you have more pearls, then you freak it with the pearl. Let me show you, got a little pearl here. Then you wear a pearl in your ear. See, nice and little, no focus. Why? Because this is gaudy. And you want one thing gaudy and one thing to be ladylike. So if you wear this gaudy necklace, which is totally dope, you gotta wear a small earring. I don't wanna see you in gold hoops because you're like, oh, it matches. Yeah, it may match, but it doesn't look right. And you always wanna look right and relevant. Okay, so stay with me. I don't believe in paying a lot for accessories unless it's a big monster piece. Now, if you got some earrings made, like the new fe the feather earrings, let me show you, these are amazing. I made these myself. You see? These are awesome. These are just a, a great pair of earrings, but each feather has been put on there individually and placed. So these are, off, you know, they're kind of custom and they're not your normal kind of feather. We're gonna get off those little feathers and bring them to the big boys. This is from my line, PW, and uh, you I don't know if you guys know, Armani did amazing, great, simple pieces. The silhouettes are kind of great, they're simple. So what I did was I put three gold pieces at the bottom, which is gonna be absolutely great. What would I wear with this? I would play it back with a nice jade earring. Stones are the rage. You see that? You see how that plays off of that? So if you have silver on your clothing as like a grommet or as some type of uh, accessory detail, you wanna play it back with your earrings and your accessories. You do not wanna wear silver with this because you know why you're messing up your outfit. You always wanna look put together. So, so important. So you just wanna play it back on that and it's gonna be great. LT, this is for you, it's not for anybody else. All right, you guys, now, you see these great glasses? This kind of gives leeway to what we're gonna talk about next week. Next week, I'm gonna give you the lowdown on the fashion rundown, all about what's hot for spring. It's gonna be so much fun, so make sure you come back next week because it's gonna be so much fun. And the cat eye glasses is gonna be all the rage for the spring. So I'll give you all your tips and tidbits next week about what's hot for spring, all the trends, what colors. I'm gonna give you a great color palette to use and where you can get some of this stuff from, you know, at great prices and some not so great, but doesn't hurt to dream, does it? Yeah.